Welcome back to Dying Light 2. Uh, I just did an episode where I was exploring downtown for the first time, trying to give myself access to all of these Night Runner hideouts and sort of all these like uh, windmills and resources that I'm going to need uh, in order to be able to survive downtown while I try to, you know, complete the story, but also, you know, take advantage of all of these open world opportunities. Like I I'm betting that, you know, I kind of got tired of doing Forsaken stores and other sort of lootable locations in the older areas, mostly just because I wasn't getting anything there that felt like it was an upgrade over what I already had. Now that we're in a new area, though, I'm betting a lot of these places, like the, 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 the like uh, military, um, the, the GRE anomalies and the military convoys and stuff like that, I'm betting they're going to have some better stuff. So I'm kind of excited to start just running around and exploring this place. But one item that I ran into over here that we haven't done on the stream yet is this bandit camp. I think so far I've only taken out one bandit camp that was over, I don't know, it was over here someplace. Um, and so I've never done it on the air, so I figured maybe that would be an interesting thing to spend an episode doing. So I've marked it on my map, it is nighttime. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad time to go after a bandit camp. It's definitely a bad time to try to be at ground level. Um, and I'm not, Having not navigated this area very often, I'm actually not sure what the best way is to get there. I guess I can just always pop my paraglider out and just fly around and guess. Okay, so it looks like the bandit camp is... Ah, okay. Is low to the ground in that vague direction. By the way, okay, so the previous area had solar powered street lights that had this rough shape to them but they were much smaller you just run across them these larger ones have got a bar to swing from on them which is, i don't know it's interesting because because they look familiar you know what they're for because you recognize their shape from the other place but they're also different and more advanced uh in, the, in downtown so i i kind of like that okay so these areas are cleared out during the night because the zombies are all down at ground level um Gotta keep making progress. Looks like we got zombies out on the floor. Oh, this is like a, a freeway overpass. And so the zombies are treating this like it's the ground. Even though... Oh, and they're just out in force over here. Well, let's deal with it anyway. As long as there aren't any howlers around. I should be able to just... Oh, what the... No, get... Sorry, I thought I'd hit the jump button and then I just... My character did not behave as though I had. So I'm not sure if it was my fault or the character's fault. But either way, I intended to jump that gap, not just sort of awkwardly stumble towards it. Okay, so I've I, I've noticed another GRE container, but I'm not going to do anything about it. So, okay, this says that the bandit camp is 88 meters away. Does that mean this is not it? I think this might just be... Oh nope! This is totally the, this is totally the bandit camp. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I was gonna try to talk about stealth, uh, but I didn't do stealth. <gasps> okay, so let me try to let them recover. Okay, that guy's shooting me with a bow. I might need to go further away to get them to stop it. So I'm gonna run over here. I would like for them to not know I'm here. So, all right. So I think my ability to actually stealth my way through a bandit camp in this game is pretty limited. Uh, so if you take something like, say, Far Cry 6, um, the sort of um, enemy camps in Far Cry 6 were actually, I mean, they were built specifically for you to be able to sort of stealth through them and like snipe them from a distance and take them out without ever, ever setting an alarm off. Um, and they were all like replayable, right? Like you'd always, you know, if you didn't like the way you did it the first time, you could sort of seed it to the enemy and try it again. Um, in this case, so I think that each bandit camp, as far as I can tell, each bandit camp can only be done once. And once you screw up the stealth, you might as well just fight your way through it. <laughs> Um, and so the chances of me being able to actually use this as a showcase for stealth, pretty, pretty slim. Um, so let me see if I approach it from this direction. Okay. Actually. Now, if this were a more, no, not this. 
If this were a more stealth-focused game, you'd probably see me using my bow a lot more. And you'd see it being more effective. Like, you see how little damage I did to that guy with my bow? Uh, now, this is only a level 2 bow. This is the first bow that you're ever given. Um, and I haven't found another one. So it could be that actually, because I... Like, if I had powered through the story at top speed... Um, it could be that that at this point in the game, that that level two bow would actually feel pretty powerful. I'll be able to headshot guys and take them out early and all that stuff. Um, and it could just be because I am so such a power leveler, where I you know play all of the side content as fast as I can, you know, and, and get and level up as much as I possibly can before pursuing the story. I could have just made it so that bow the first bow I get is just a disappointing bow because of where I am uh, in the game. Um, okay, so I'm looking, uh, but yeah, so, so I don't think I can snipe these guys. I think my bow is not going to help me with that. Oh, hey there, Dan31 is here. Good to see you. Um, okay, so it looks like that front entrance is one way I could go. You can just straight up attack a bandit camp if you want to, uh, from, from the front door. But it looks like the bandit camp extends along the entire length of this building. So there might be another... <laughs> Another place I can go, another angle I can hit it from that's stealthier and lets me sort of deal with some of the lighter troops first before dealing with the boss. Like, for instance, right here, you can see this little hanging ramp right here and a yellow ledge that's next to the solar lights. And, yeah, so it looks like there probably is a way to get up maybe from this angle over here. I'm going to keep running for a bit. See what I can see from this side. All right. So from this side. Okay. So this way up over here seems to be connected to these lights, which I can get to from this ledge, which goes down to this ramp, this series of ledges, that ramp right over here. And then there's some kind of door. I don't know what the door is. Um, multiple doors. There's all kinds of doors. Um, I don't know what they're for. Yeah, okay, so the entrance might be over here. Oh, look, there's some enemies. I wonder if these enemies are going to stay tracked. Nope. Um, okay, so up here is not a very useful place to be now that I think about it. Um, so let's try to get over here. With as little zombie drama as possible. Okay, there's a little awning that I can stand on. Okay, hey, night is, oh, is ending. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was going to get me onto the awning, but I guess not. There we go. Can I... What? Okay, hold on. Can I get to this thing from here? No, I cannot. That means I have to keep orbiting the building. It's going up again! No, there has to be a way. There has to be a way to get onto this thing here. Can I get to it from up there? No, that's just still part of the bandit camp. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Okay, um... I don't know how to get up to it. Is there a way to like cling to something up here and then jump to it sideways? No, it looks like they're deliberately making that impossible. Oh wait, what's, can I get to this? Yes, but it doesn't do anything for me. Pretty sure. Yeah, I can't. One thing that's tough in a game like this is you really have to be clear and communicate with the player, like, what is a ledge and what is not a ledge. Like, obviously, if this building's, so, uh, like, sides were completely smooth, um, that would look unrealistic, right? That wouldn't look like a real building. Um, so they have to make it look like it has ledges. But then communicating to me which ledges are real ledges that I can actually grab and which ledges are not... Uh, that's a big problem they have to solve. And it's hard to solve that 
uh, 100% of the time very well. So I feel like right here I have found the lowest point in the perimeter of this bandit camp. It seems to be right here. I don't. Everything else seems to be higher up and more inaccessible. But it also seems like I'm incapable of jumping to it. So is that just a signal to me that I that I can't sneak into this place in, by any kind of back way? I mean, I guess this up here is also part of the bandit camp. So maybe there's another way that I can get up there. But okay, so here, this is the, I think this is the front entrance right here above me. I think that might even be the way that I took before. So that, that doesn't seem real. Oh, what's this? Okay, this, this might be doable. Let's see, can I jump up to this? Wait, what was, wait, what was that? I'm sorry, what kind of thing is this? I assumed this was like a thing I could climb. Yes, okay, it is a thing I can climb. Okay, I guess I just grabbed it from the wrong angle. Okay, so this... That other way was just a red herring or something? Like, that other way felt like it was a legit way to go. Let's see, who's around? Okay, there's a guy facing that way. There's a guy facing that way. Let's... Uh, this... Oh, crap. Okay, this guy feels like he's furthest away from everyone else. He's probably a good first guy to knock out. So my goal right now with this bandit camp is to take down all of the dudes. And once I've taken down all of the dudes... <coughs> I have to also take out like the I think there's a boss enemy I have to take out too but once all the dudes are gone there's an interaction that I can do to claim the place and make it mine oh crap there's a guy with an alarm over here who sees something what's going on here something's off he sure ain't in the right place okay I don't know if he's gonna come any deeper into this room nope oh crap me as long as he doesn't sound the alarm, am I fine? Yeah, as long as he doesn't sound the alarm, I'm okay. This lieutenant here, he's probably high enough level. I'm betting I can't. I'm betting I can't take him out in one hit. Let's try. Oh, come on. Who the fuck? Can I take him out? Oh crap! I had the chance to use a knife to take him out, and I didn't do it fast enough. So I was trying to charge up a power attack, and then that prevented me from defending myself. Okay, but again, he didn't alert anybody. Is that everybody on this end? I think so. Ooh, throwing spear. like those. Okay. So we took out everyone in this area. Okay, so that guy was the alarm. But... Yeah, so like... Oh, right. That's, I forgot. I have to dodge those flashy moves. It's been a while since I've done this, so... Yeah, so this move is like so super powered when you're up high in a building. Like, you don't have to be any good at the game. <laughs> to be able to do that move and just knock people off. Now, earlier on, a lot of the battles you do are at ground level, which means that, you know, that, that move still does a bunch of damage, which is very effective, but it doesn't knock people off, off roofs unless they're already on roofs. Um, by the way, I should probably heal before I get to the next fight. Oh, that is my last of those sort of cheaper heals, so I should grab... Oh, I should craft some healing. Let me craft some healing deals. So I've been upgrading my uh, medicine. And look, I've got so many, so many crafting resources. This is kind of ridiculous. 
but yeah, so basically I use I use my my crap uh, resources for as long as I can um, before uh, crafting any new ones. And so now I'm gonna, I'm going to suddenly have much better medicine than I've had in the past because I finally actually crafted new ones. Um, oh crap! Oh crap! No 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 no! I do not want alarm guy to see me. No thank you. see him through the wall Just call him. Eat this, motherfucker. oh again that was a that was a power move ah I really need to work on my my combat skills dang it I keep thinking I know that a guy's doing a normal attack and then I'll suddenly realize at the last minute, he's doing a power attack. And so I'll be blocking his power attack, and that will fail. And then his next attack, I'm going to anticipate a power attack, and I realize too late it's a normal attack, and I try to block it, and I block it too late. So you're just seeing me fail at every single thing I try to do in combat. So at least as long as I'm not letting the guys with the alarms set off their alarms, I think that that's what would, what would uh, sort of ignite the entire base and send everyone after me at once. I think I'm just doing fighting localized groups of guys as long as I don't let any of those alarms go off. Okay, there's a bunch of guys over here, I think. And this might just end up having to be a, a long fight. I don't know. I am running low on time. Oh, somebody's noticing me. Who's noticing me? Yeah, there's just a bunch of these dudes. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to piece these guys apart. There's too many of them. There's the boss. I'd love to fight him without a bunch of other guys necessarily being all over me. So isolating him... See, the thing is, I think it takes a long time to take the boss down. So isolating him sounds great. Just grabbing him sounds great. Except that the other guys have plenty of time to catch up with you before... You gotta be kidding me. Oh, crap. That guy's got a bow. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. Oh, there goes an alarm guy. That's fine. I think this is the last group anyway. I don't think it actually matters that much. But, well, actually, well, one thing he might be able to do, and I'm really not sure about this. Oh, crap. Okay, that didn't hit him at all. Oh, gosh. Let's get out of here. Okay. Let's just make sure I'm in the... Oh, wait. Oh, hit. If you like your friend. Uh, I wonder if I should maybe have some for you. Some throwing knives. <laughs> I can just pepper these guys with throwing knives. Okay, hold on. What else do I have? I got decoys. That doesn't help. Ah, again. As always. Forget how to defend. Sorry, I promise I used to be better at defending myself in combat. Alright. Hey there, friend. Haha. <laughs> Okay, one thing I should probably consider doing is having a look at my inventory, which beautifully pauses the game. Um, don't I? Oh, yeah, I've got a grenade. Oh, I've got a mine, too. Let's try some of these things. I've genuinely never used these. So what will I get out of using a mine? Haha, <laughs> nice. Yeah, so the cost 
of that running and jumping move is that is that your character is is immobile for a second afterwards. But most of the time, that doesn't matter. The enemy doesn't attack you while you're down. It's because it does so much damage. And it also has the potential to knock guys into each other, knock guys off cliffs. It just feels like you should always do it, you know? Like, look at that. I can just wail on this guy now. Stomp his head. That was just so powerful. That guy's supposed to be a tough fight, but I mean, that move is just so good. It, it's a little bit like the equivalent of um, cars in State of Decay 2, where it's like we have to put so much thought into, you know, how, like how to mitigate the advantages of cars because they're just so powerful. So I have to go in here and loot because if I don't, after I claim the base, I think some of this loot, if not all of it, will go away. There we go. There's the sweet spot. So yeah, this looks like it's the biggest collection of loot in the area. So I'm not going to worry about all the little incidental loot in other places. But we should definitely grab this stuff before we do much more. Oh, here's some arrows. And some Molotovs. That would have been fun. Um, what else did I miss? Anything? Then other than that, I've just got a bunch of random crap on the ground, which... Ooh! And there's another airdrop up on top of this place. Well, that seems worthwhile. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time. Uh, my lunch break is almost over. So uh, let's wrap this up. So we're going to hammer the X button. Basically raise the flag. Come on. So yeah, if I raise the flag, all of the uh, all the loot disappears. That's fine. I got the stuff that seemed important. And now this camp belongs to us. Who's us? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, we got some fancy stuff. That's great. And then... I think the next thing I'm going to do, probably between episodes, is try to get to the top of this building so I can get that military stash from wherever it is up above us. See, yeah, you can sort of see it through the ceiling. That's going to be my next task, but I don't have time for it right now because i got to wrap this up and get back to work. So, <laughs> B-Downs is saying, oh, you don't have to work today. Yes, I do. I've got some very specific meetings that I have... Uh, uh, of uh, guaranteed people I'm going to be at to participate. So, uh, no, I can't just suddenly disappear because I'm playing video games on my lunch break. That doesn't really work. But thank you all for being here. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I really hope that folks are enjoying these episodes. I believe that this is probably... Let me check. I think this has probably been... Yeah, this has been my 10th episode about Dying Light too. So uh, I really hope people enjoy these episodes I do about Dying Light 2 because there sure have been a lot of them. Not as many as I do of, you know, State of Decay 2, but I mean State of Decay 2 is, in a, special is a special case. Um, I'm almost getting up to like Subnautica levels of really long series. But let me know like in the comments if you're glad I'm doing this and if you want me to keep going or uh, if you'd rather I moved on to some other game because there's certainly plenty of interesting games out there to play. Uh, but Dying Light 2 has not lost me yet. You know, there's a lot of open world games. Like uh, in the last episode I was talking about the way that some of the different far Cry games have sort of hit a point where they lost me. I haven't found that point with Dying Light 2 yet. I really love running around in this world and even when I'm just picking up you know, just random garbage resources off the ground, there's something really intrinsically fun about just running around and feeling free, just bouncing around in this world. It feels really cool and uh, yeah, so it's just, it's been a really good sort of go-to game whenever I've got some spare time. Uh, Ranith Cord wants to know when I'll be back for playtest service. You know what? I'll answer that question after the episode's over because uh, people watching later on YouTube will not care. So if you are watching me later on YouTube, uh, here's a subscribe button. And uh, if I play more Dying Light 2 on my stream, I'll put the episodes here. Uh, otherwise, you know, here's just random games for you to click on. <laughs>